on the right day. I'm sure of it. How are you doing today? I hope you're all well. We've got some beautiful, beautiful statement earrings for you today. So we're going to be using some um, square crystals, lots of lovely little tassels made from chain. And we've got, I think, nine colours for you today to choose from. So absolutely loads. So drop me a comment as usual where are you watching from what have you been up to how's your week been what is the weather like today it's gone really really quite bright it's cold though um so i've packed my little one who's still on half term off to um a holiday club today so i have been out it was raining at first because it always does when i have to leave the house with him but it's gone really bright and sunny now so how are you? What have you been up to? Um, I'm going to take you over to the website very shortly because we've got such beautiful choices for you today in terms of colour. I'd like you to have a little look at them as soon as possible. I think, and I'll double check, well, you are going to be able to make up multiple pairs in your kit today. And also, we've got a multi-buy deal, which is just lovely. So hello to Camille. She says, good morning, Natalie. Congrats. I'm still fingers crossed. Thank you so much. I was in the semi-finals, so um, of a jewellery making competition. So yet to be announced if I've got any further, but fingers crossed. We'll see. Good morning to Heidi. She she says good morning everybody. Hello to Trish. She says good morning Natalie and everybody. Hello to our lovely Lucy. Good morning to our gorgeous Debbie. Hello to wonderful Elaine. She says good morning Natalie. Grey and windy here in South Lincolnshire. Um, Elaine says hello to me and everybody. Jen's in. Um, and good morning to Francis. So I've got quite a few of you in already. Uh, good morning to Joy. How are you doing, my lovely? Where are you watching from? What's the weather like? So I think if it's grey where you are, the sunshine has come to me. I'm going to have to start getting my Halloween decorations out. I've done a few bits and bobs in the front, but still yet to carve my pumpkins. So that might be this weekend's job. Um, good morning to Pauline. She says she watched me on Wednesday. Very well done. And she's very proud of me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to all of you for your support. Um, I did almost ugly cry on TV. But there you go. You know what I'm like. I'm rather emotional, aren't I? <laughs> good morning to Amelia. She says, good morning, Natalie and everyone. Right, let's get over to the Totally Leads website so you can see these beauties. So if you're not sure, hi, Linda. If you're not sure where to find us, we are totallybeads.co.uk. Here we are on our wonderful website, loads of ways to get into our tutorial section. I'm going to click on this lovely logo at the top, but you can scroll down and you can go into categories as well. So today we've got the Jessica earrings and I think they're really lovely. They are statement earrings. You can make these tassels as long as you like. So if you want to make them shorter, you can do. If maybe you just want to use the little square crystal with the crystals around it, you can do that too. But they come in the most beautiful colours. Now your kit today is making up four pairs of earrings for just seven pounds and 99 pence. But if like me, you're absolutely spoiled for choice with the color, we've got the offer of two for 12 pounds. So you can get two kits for 12 pounds, which will make up eight pairs of earrings. And of course you can add more and more as the more multiples you get. So if you buy four, you're still gonna get that offer. You can mix and match these colors. However, if you want eight pairs, for example, in the Aqua Shimmer, which I adore, then you can get two for 12 on one colorway as well. You don't have to mix them up. So here are our beautiful colors. Look at them all. There's just so many. I'm going to show you each one and show you what you get in your kit. So I think they're my favorite. I love blue and I always pair blue with silver. But actually, this aqua against that gold is just stunning. So these are your Jessica earrings. This is what they look like flat. You can 
add those tassels any way you want because they're on those double connecting eye pins. They will swivel, they will move. So if you would like them with the longest tassel inward to your face, you can. If you want the short tassel towards your face, then you can do that too. If you want to keep them all the same length, you can do it as well. So they're your Jessica earrings in action shimmer they are just beautiful you're getting your crystal squares which are 14 millimeter you get getting all your ear wires your 50 millimeter ball pins your eye pins your jump rings your crystal rounds and some oval curb chain as well so everything in your kit is going to make up four pairs of earrings if you'd like to see exactly what each component is, then you can scroll down and you can look at them in their glory. So these Aqua Shimmer, I'm going to show you them on the mat as well. The most beautiful turquoise coloured blue, I think. They just remind me of like a Greek island somewhere. It's just gorgeous. And we match them with the beautiful Opal Aqua Shadow four millimetre crystal round beads as well. So they are your gorgeous Aqua. We've got these beautiful auburn. So this is, it's like a warm gold colour, I suppose. It's got a lovely translucency to it. Very, very pretty. Pairing those with the crystals as well. These are also on your gold colourway. Absolutely stunning. So this is your auburn. Very, very pretty. I don't know how to choose. I'm just going to pick whatever is nearest up in my pile, I think, today to demo with because, again, we'll be here all day if I'm if I'm choosing. We've got the gorgeous autumn rainbow. So these are beautiful, perfect for the season. They have got pinks, oranges, golds in them. Absolutely stunning. Also on the gold colourway. Don't forget you've got your two for £12 offer on but they are £7.99 for four pairs of earrings so they are your autumn rainbow very shimmery they've got a beautiful cut and facet to them these crystal squares as well so they really do catch the light and if you've got a pair with something like this autumn rainbow it's gonna show off all of those beautiful colours as you move and as the ring kind of turns with your head, they're very, very beautiful. We've also got the Blue Storm, which I, ooh, I'm going to add that one to my basket because they're just so lovely. <laughs> I might demo with these ones. As I say, I'll just pick what's closest to me, but these are beautiful. Again, you've got lots of gorgeous kind of twinkles on these crystal square cubes they're very very beautiful they're on a silver colorway so your chain and your findings will be silver and that will go with the beautiful blue store i'm going to have to show you them on the mat because they are just so gorgeous you've got your crystal ab which are beautiful very elegant really perfect for a festive party i think but you could wear them all year round. So they're your crystal AB. This is how they would look when worn. As I say, you can change those tassels if you want to make them shorter or if you want to make them even more elongated, you can do that too. So they're your crystal AB. We've got the gorgeous, gorgeous electric green teal. Now these again have got little bits of sparkles of purple in them. Absolute beautiful teal colour. They are not being done justice on these photographs. I apologise for that. I always try and do my best to show what they look like in natural light. But they're just so sparkly. So that is your electric teal. Drop me a comment let me know which is your favourite. If you can choose. We've got the gorgeous jet black as well. Everything's just so gorgeous. So you've got a beautiful kind of room look here with that silver finding being paired with it. They're very, very pretty, very elegant and very party-ish. I can see me wearing those in, probably dancing around my living room because I don't get out much, but I'm loving the jet black ones. 
we've also got an AB. We're not stopping yet. We've got I think, nine choices for you today. Now the lemon are beautiful. They look clear, so they've got that kind of hint, very subtle hint of lemon colour to them. So it's much warmer than say the crystal clear AB ones. But again, they've got that AB finish, so you will see subtle colours of like little bits of rainbow in there. AB standing for Aurora Borealis, so they really do have that kind of petrol finish shimmer to them. Very, very beautiful. So they are your lemon. And then we've also got these beautiful purple. Now the purple has got blues, greens, golds in them. They're just, just gorgeous. You need to see these down on the mat. Each one is going to look slightly different as well because obviously you've got that finish to them. So for something like your Jet Black, they are quite uniform. But for something like this, for your purple green, maybe even the Auburn and that uh, beautiful Aqua, there are subtle changes of colour in them as well. So that's them down on the mat, looking flat. And when worn in your ear, they look like this. So that's the purple green. Four pairs in your kit today. £7.99 for four pairs of earrings. And if you're really struggling to choose... And these are going to make amazing gifts. They are very compact as well. So they will be fit perfectly in a little stocking filler or under the Christmas tree. If you want to get multi buys, you can do. We've got a two for 12 offer on for you. So they are our Jessica earrings today. I hope you love them as much as I do. Oh, we've got loads of you in now. So let me see what have I missed. What are you chatting about? Which ones do you like the best? So um, Joy is in. She says, it's wet, windy and dull in Peterborough. Um, Elaine watched me and she loved what I made. So thank you very much. Um, oh, Lucy, stop it. You're going to make me get emotional again. Thank you. Lucy has shared the link for us today. So we are totallyleads.co.uk forward slash Facebook tutorials forward slash Jessica earrings. They're just beautiful. Um Camille, yes, you can. I will send you the link and you can watch it back. You can watch all of our tutorials here on Totally Beads back at any time you want to as well. So you can watch us on YouTube, you can find us on the website. And I always share my tutorials to my page as well, which is Natalie Patton Wire Artist, if you want to have a little look there. Good morning, Mary. How are you doing? Um Mina's in. She says she loved my makes on Wednesday. Thank you very much. Hello to Jackie and Mina. Thank you so much as well for the link that you sent me. I am loving those little, little festive makes. And I think I might be looking at something a little bit similar in a couple of weeks. So thank you for all of your suggestions. Alison's here. Hello, lovely Alison. She says, good morning, Natalie, and everybody watching. These earrings will be great for Christmas parties and another wonderful multi-buy deal too. Couldn't agree more, Alison. They are just lovely. I mean, you can wear them all year round, but I think when you've got a statement earring, you want you want to wear them for a special occasion. They look really special. They're an absolute bargain price. People will say, oh, they look expensive. And you can say, thanks. Don't tell them that they're not. Um, I'm worse for that. Someone goes, well, like that dress. And I have to say, oh, it's only £12 from Tesco or other supermarket chains are also available. Um, good morning to Carol. Hello to Sharon. She says, good morning, creative bead and ears. Um, hello to mummy. My mum's in. Good morning, Kath. She says, hello to me and everybody else. Hello to Janice. She says, the sun's just come out in Swansea after heavy rain. Maybe it's heading off to yours then in Swansea then, because to be honest, Janice, it's getting a bit overcast now. I've been going on how bright it is. Um, Good morning to Margaret. She says the gas board's digging outside the house, so she's blocked in a house for now. What a shame. You're just going to have to stay in and make things, aren't you, Margaret? You know, it's just how it is. She says, how lovely to watch this today. Will we ever do clip-on earring demos? I don't see why not. Yeah, anything I tend to make can always be turned into a clip-on earring. I've got a lovely little um, box of clip-ons that come in a range of different colours and Totally Beads do sell little clip-on backs. They do like little screw-on ones. So 
anything that we're making here if you want to get more clip-on earrings then instead of attaching them to the fish hook or french hook earring then you can just attach them to the clip-on the only thing is sometimes you need to make sure that they they hang right so depending on the clip-on earring you have some of them are designed so they kind of sit in a little loop forward but most of them I have a friend who only has clip-on earrings, she doesn't have her ears pierced, and she always feels like she's missing out. Um, so she's not, I've made her Halloween ones, I've made her all sorts. Um, so yeah, you can always, always change your earring hook to whatever suits you best, if that's a different type of metal or different shape. Um, but I will do some clip-ons for you as well. We did do some a few weeks back with the lovely little seed beads and crystals, um, and I used a needle. I know. Um, so they were really lovely. They wear clip on earrings and they just created a lovely little dome shape. So have a little look in um, the earring section on our tutorials and you'll be able to find them there as well. So hopefully I've helped you there, um, Margaret. Hello to Kim. Hello to Camille again. Um, hello to Nicole. She says, hi, Natalie and fellow beaders. Just been creating some bracelets on him, Matt. By the way, I was able to watch you make some Wednesday. Thank you so much, Nicole. Thank you for all your support um, Kim says she's just finalizing her first order how do I know what weight postage I need to choose please so excited to receive my beads I'm not sure where you're watching from Kim that should do that for you um, I don't think they're going to be very I mean it depends how much you purchase but I don't think they're going to be very heavy um, have a little look it should just show and if you're struggling then you can always contact the warehouse as well to double check hello to David he says sorry out eating fruit bread and drinking flat white coffee oh David my tummy is rumbling I'm not eating today feeling a little bit just tired I think so yeah I'd love a coffee now one for me one sugar please with lots of milk um Elena's here she's saying you're welcome to a Camille I'm not sure what that's regarding Pauline's already got two in a bag what colors have you got Pauline um Amelia's ordered the black and the autumn they're gonna look good oh, do you know what you could do you could use the black um square crystals and then you could use the little crystals off the autumn colourway as the tassels at the bottom and you could proper mix them up, Amelia. They'd look gorgeous together. Really quite Halloween, I think. Hello to Tutu. Good morning to lovely Ruth. Ruth always reminds me to ask you to click the like button, which I'm always grateful for. Whenever I see Ruth's name now and a lovely little chicken in their profile picture, I always think, if you like what we do, give us a like, a thumbs up. Um, Mina said she might have to get a kit for myself as she's got a work Christmas party on the 16th of December. How wonderful. Well, you're getting four pairs of earrings in each kit. So why don't you make all four? Keep one for yourself. And I know, Mina, you are absolutely smashing your sales at the moment when you're making for your craft fairs. So pop them in. Everyone's going to love them. You could sell three and keep one for yourself. Uh, Lindsay's in. She says, good morning, Natalie and all my beady friends. Sneaking a coffee break from work. Everyone's got a coffee. I've got a glass of water next to me. It's just not good enough. Hello to Anne. She says, good morning, Natalie and everybody. Was enjoying the photo so much. I forgot to say hello. Well, hello to you. Good morning to Debbie. Um, Mina's really excited about festive makes to come got loads for you in December um but we're gonna mix it up not everybody wants to do Christmas stuff and I get that but for those that do there will be a mix hello to Teresa good morning to Brenda hello to Patricia um she's just got her order in and um thank you very much for your lovely comments Lucy says love this little easier makes great for stalls and fairs it's just nice to do some quick quick makes i'm going to be doing some more complicated things with you but i want to use as much range of materials as i can i think it's really good that we diversify so i will always try and make earrings bracelet necklace maybe another pair of earrings maybe another bracelet but i'll be using lots of different types of materials so we can get practice in our or turning loops or working with chain memory wire whatever it is thank you elaine that's so lovely she says good morning natalie's mum 
you must be very proud of your daughter. She did very well on Wednesday. Stop it. You're going to make me cry again. Good morning to Mina again. She says she definitely got a few kids fell into her basket and she's already placed an order for Christmas charms as it's payday. Yes, we got loads of lovely charms on the website. Good morning, Anne, who's in a dull and rainy Perth. Ruth's giving me the thumbs up. Thank you so much. Um, oh, stop it. Mina says, thank you, Natalie. And you are a very talented lady who helps me a lot and inspires me. You know my batch making techniques. Mina has got the best technique. And I'm not going to share it. I think, Mina, if you want to share it, pop a post on the handmade group because it's absolutely genius. And I think it's just going to speed up everything really quickly. So if you're someone like Nina, who's a prolific maker, then Nina, share your tip. Um, Victoria's in. She was at the hospital getting a hand splints. I hope you're OK. She says, question, would the earrings match with the bracelets with square beads? Um, oh, and she's got wet and miserable weather. With the square beads from last live, were they the Maddie bracelets? don't see why not yeah I think so yeah I'm gonna say yeah and also you could always if you've got a couple of them left over you could add them as earrings as well um Mina's saying she will thank you right okay enough chatting let's go down to the mat and show you these absolutely beautiful Jessica earrings look at them all there's loads of them I can't even fit them on my desk today I, I keep moving them and sliding them along so I am going to pick them up and show you them. I'm just going to quickly go back to the website for me so I can see which is what. So these are our gorgeous aqua. These are our beautiful auburn. We've got our autumn. We've got our blue storm, which are just twinkling at me so much at the moment. We've got the crystal AB. We've got the electric green teal, the beautiful jet black, the lemon AB, and these gorgeous purple green stunning ones as well so they are your colors i'm going to show you i'm going to lift them up so you can see how these gorgeous little squares are cut and faceted so you can see this cut on it here the way it's shaped just means it's going to catch the light so much you've also got those little crystals at the bottom which you're going to add the extra twinkle some lovely little delicate chain and then just adding the extra twinkle on the tassel there as well they're absolutely beautiful they're the same in terms of their cut and their shape all the way around which i think is beautiful so you know if someone's looking at the back of your earring it looks just as beautiful as the front the color on this is really stunning so it is has got that kind of warm, kind of auburn colour to it. You can see that mainly on the side, but it's also got that lovely translucence too. So, so sparkly. These ones, look, I'm going to hold both of these up so you can see the difference on each one. So the one I'm holding now is your autumn rainbow. So you can see it's got the pinks on it. It's got the golds on it. They do match, but each one's always going to, like the back on that one looks a lot more gold. So you can choose which way round you want them. These ones, are these the blue storm. Oh, I'll just hold one up because they're pretty much the same. But look, they've got that blue. But also look how the purples are shining through on that too absolutely stunning these are your a b finish so they are clear but look at the rainbow that shines through that that gorgeous a b finish just absolutely beautiful which ones are you liking the most i'm loving these i think the teal is just accentuated by those little crystals as well sparkles sparkles everywhere my camera can't focus because they're just too sparkly gorgeous little crystal drops on the bottom of those as well your jet black camille's loving the auburn i knew you would look at them 
still got that sparkle the way the light will catch them but you've got i suppose i wouldn't say it's a matte finish at all because it's just too sparkly but you can just see that color on them is just so gorgeous tutu says they're all so beautiful we've got these which are your lemony colored ones so they've just got that little bit of warmth in them. Look at them. And again, just looking beautiful on that gold. Elaine's asking if we used these squares before. I don't know. I don't know if we have. Just think they're beautiful as earrings. Look at that purple one. So I think, is this your purple iris? To get a little bit of focus, it's not doing it justice. This is your purple green. So on this one, it's looking predominantly purple, but if I flip it over, can you see the green tones coming out in there? Just beautiful. So let's get making. I'm not gonna sit and choose too long, though I love those aqua ones. Every day I have a new favourite. Today I'm particularly loving the black. So I'm going to rummage, pick one up. What have we got? Yeah, I thought that was near the top. So ones that I'm going to be demoing for you today are going to be the blue storm ones. Um, Victoria says, order placed. Um, Lindsay says, I must be psychic as some of these cubes dropped into my basket a few weeks ago. Well, that's handy. Have you got them already then? So these are our gorgeous, gorgeous little crystal earrings. And I've got these beautiful ones to match as well. So to start off, I'm going to cut my chain. So I'm using the silver colourway for this. And it's up to you how long you make your tassels. So I make one tassel at five centimetres, one at four centimetres and one at three centimetres. It really doesn't matter as long as you've got the matching on each earring. So if you've used five centimetre tassel on one, I want it to be symmetrical and I want to cut a five centimetre tassel off on the other as well. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to open that up and close in this back over because I'm not wasting any links. You can cut your chain if you want to. Just going to run my fingers through that. And then I'll pair them up together at the end. So I've got two matching chain lengths on each one. Now you can do your tassels the same length. You don't have to stagger them. But I do like having three different lengths. They will obviously be slightly longer as well because you're going to have your gorgeous little crystal on the end. And we're going to make a little wrap loop for that. So I'm just closing that over just like I would a jump ring making sure that I can use that for the next one. So I'm going to lay them out next to each other and check that they're about even. So they are my five centimetres. I'm going to do two at four centimetres. So I'm just laying it against my ruler, looking at what link I need to open up. Find the opening in the link on the chain. Give it a little twist open, separate that off from my length and close that back over. Just have a little look to make sure it's fully closed. I'm not in shot, I do apologise. So that's going to be my four. Going to do another four centimetres. So I'm just holding it up against my ruler, saying I'm going to open it up there. Find the opening in my link, hold it with my pliers. You can cut it if you want to. But I'm just going to open it up like a jump ring. So I'm going to hold carefully onto each side, unattach my chain, and close that over. Now we won't cut these for you. We like you to be able to decide what lengths of things you want. So we'll include enough chain 
to make four pairs of earrings with these lengths of tassels. But if you want to make them different, then that is up to you. So we won't put with these won't come ready, ready measured for you. Gives you the chance to kind of create that yourself. So now I'm doing the same, but with three centimeters. So just opened it up and closing it over. Just put my finger behind it, just to check it's fully closed, because we don't want that to come loose. And your chain's really lovely. It's large enough to fit through your jump rings, easy enough to attach your wrap loops through it, but it looks delicate. It's not gonna be a big, heavy chain. So that might be a look that you're going for. So open in the last section up. So I've got six little lengths of chain. I need three pieces for each earring and I want them to be the same. So I've got my five, my four and my three centimetres. Uh, Lucy saying she loves my pliers. These are really handy to have a little pair of bent nose pliers. They can get into very small, fiddly little spaces. Um, Camille is saying, Natalie told us about them a while ago and she had to go and get them. Uh, these make our Joran if anyone's looking for them and I love them. Um, but I'm always using the first kit I ever got, which are very basic. They weren't expensive at all and I'm still using them to this day two years on in jewellery making okay so i've got my chain lengths i'm now going to start making my little wrapped loops to go on the bottom of them so i'm going to take my ball pins out now your ball pin is a gorgeous little pin with a little ball finish on the end so i'm going to need six of those one two three four five six i'm not too concerned if they are a little misshapen i can straighten that out with my finger just by running them through so you see there just held on to that little ball at the end and just give them a little straight and you can do that with your pliers as well but they're nice and soft enough to um be able to to turn i, I sometimes struggle doing a wrap loop with um an eye pin but the ball pins are lovely so to do my ball pins, I'm going to add on my gorgeous little sparkly crystal onto the end. I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm just going to position my round nose plier just above that crystal. And then I'm going to bend my pin over the top of my round nose. And that's created a tiny little space between the bend in the pin and the crystal, which is gonna be perfect enough for me to just do a couple of wraps. And then gonna reposition my pliers. So now my crystal is sitting at the end. Focus, focus, hello. Can you see what I'm doing? Has the light changed? It's not looking very sharp, there you go. So my round nose pliers are now sitting above and below that pin. And I'm just going to turn my pin around the top of my plier, reposition my hand again. So I've created a little circle that sits neatly at the top. Now, before I do my wrap loop, I'm going to add my chain on. So I'm going to take my first length, this one I'm picking up is my five centimetres, and I'm going to add that on, just want to check that that's closed properly, I think it is. I'm going to add that link of chain onto that pin, slide it up so it sits inside that little loop we've just made, like so. And then I'm going to hold that little loop with my round nose pliers. I'm just going to pop my chain down there, let that crystal drop down to the bottom of that little ball. 
and then with another pair of pliers I'm just going to come in and I'm going to wrap two or three times just in that little space below that little loop that we've made. Now I'm going to come in with my cutters and I'm going to cut it off quite close to the crystal. I'm going to hold on to this bit so it doesn't fire off and ping away. Then if I want to, to give myself something to grip onto, I'm going to put my round nose back through the little loop. And then with any pair of pliers, I'm just going to come and tuck that in. So there's nothing sharp sticking out. And that little wrap loop is firmly tucked in into my crystal. So I've already got one of my lovely little dangles. And I'm just going to keep repeating that for each length of my chain. So gorgeous crystal onto the end of my ball pin. Picking up my round nose. I'm only holding them towards the bottom because I don't want a massive gap between the crystal and the, the little loop. And I don't want my loop to be too big either. So my round nose are tapered. I'm using them at the small point. So I'm holding it with my round nose, bending it over to the side, reposition my hand, bring that round. So I'm starting to make that loop shape. Reposition my hand again, just so I can get that right around the bottom before I do my loop. I'm going to add on my chain because once you've done a wrap loop, the wonderful thing about a wrap loop is it it's hugely secure. Once you've wrapped your loop, they are not falling off. So you want to try and remember to add on your chain before you wrap that loop. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to attach it. Holding it again just across the little loop with round nose pliers. Hold the chain out the way so it doesn't get in the way. I'm going to angle my hand to drop that crystal to the bottom of the ball on the pin and then with another pair of pliers just lovely wrap that round really really easily you can reposition your little loop if you need to we want to make sure that they're sitting like eyes rather than peas so we don't want them going off to the side we just want them sitting nicely on top of that crystal Pop them around nose back in just to give yourself something to hold on to while I flatten that down and make sure there's nothing sticking out. And we're going to keep repeating that. This time I'm going to do my next length of chain. So these are going to be my four centimetres. You can do these in whatever order you want to. I just like to keep them in position so I know what I've got where when I come to attaching them because I like to attach them on in the same order on each earring but it doesn't really matter so I've created that little loop I'm threading my chain on if you need to you can always pull it out a little bit just to get the chain in but I think just giving it a gentle little pull will get it in between that little little loop um oh so are you okay she says oh dear some have fallen into a basket <laughs> you won't regret it so you get to love them i'm sure really easy quick simple makes today and looking very stylish and elegant so again all i'm doing is i'm just wrapping that little pin in between the space between the crystal and the loop that we've made so i'm only needing to wrap it two times really they're going to be really sturdy enough coming close trim that off just going to reposition that loop a little bit and then in with my pliers just to make sure that that's tucked down. So I'm just holding it with my round nose, just so it gives me a good grip as I tuck that little bit in. 
Oh, Angela, are you all right? She says, sick with COVID, so forgot the time. You've not missed too much, my love, and you can always catch us back up. At the moment, we are making gorgeous Jessica earrings using some gorgeous crystals. So we're going to make some statement earrings today. All I'm doing at the moment is just making some little wrapped loops, adding them onto my chain. And then we're going to make a double connector and they're really simple to do. So again, sliding that on, got my chain in position, holding it. I do just hold it out the way. So I'm just positioning that chain down the back of my pliers. Taking another pair of pliers. I mean, these are soft enough. You could probably do them with your finger, but I do think if you use your pliers, you can get it up close to that little wrap that we've used, that little loop. They're very delicate and very dainty looking. Come in with your cutters, trim off that excess. These cutters have seen better days, my handles are sliding off. They're a very old, non-branded pair that I've got, but they've served me well. Tucking that back in. So now I've done my five centimetres, my four centimetres. I'm just going to finish off the last two for my three centimetres. So holding it next to that crystal with my round nose with just the tip. Keep repositioning my hand. So I can create that loop, give it a little knock and a tilt if you need to. So it's sitting at the top. You can just do it with your fingers if you don't want to use your pliers. So you can see how easy it is for me to just wrap that round and then I'm not swapping and picking up. It's up to you if you've got your tools, use them, that's what they're for. Trim off. Just popping it back through that loop with my round nose, just so I can find that end and tuck it in close. But you know what I didn't do there, did I? I didn't add my chain. So now I've just got an extra little tassel for something. See, even I lose concentration at times. <laughs> Elaine says, I remember now we use the smaller crystal squares for Tara earrings, did we? Were they similar? Do you know, I made that much, I can never remember. Right, let's redo that on the chain this time. Bending it, turning it so that loop goes all the way around. Reposition if you need to. Then add your chain. Sliding it on, on the last link. Make sure it's your final link of chain that you're adding. If you need to separate it out a little bit, you can do, but usually a little gentle pull and push will just get that sitting inside of that loop. If you're struggling, you can just give it a little lift up to create that space. Just going to hold that chain out the way, making sure my crystal is sitting towards that lovely little ball at the bottom of the pin. Little twist to wrap it round. Trim off. Just going to pop my round nose back through. So I can tuck down the pin. You can always flip it over as well as you go, just to make sure you can get right in there. And then my last one, and my last little length of chain. So they're really easy and quick to do. You can start doing 
a little production line of this if you want. So if you're making all four in your kit, you might want to cut all your length of chain first. You might want to sit and, and make your little wrap loops onto the chain. So you've got a little pile of them and then you can just pick them up as you go. Wrapping that round two or three times just to fill the space in between. Coming in close, trimming it off. And then tuck that pin in. I want to make sure I've got it right in. It's not going to catch or tangle in my hair then. So I've got my little tassels now. What I want to do is start connecting them. So I'm going to make a double connector through that gorgeous crystal. So this time, instead of using the ball pins, where have I put them? I'm going to use my eye pins. So I'm going to take out two of my eye pins, got a lovely long length again, don't worry if it's slightly misshapen, you can straighten that out. I'm going to add my crystal round onto the end, then my crystal square, and then another little crystal round. Now, when I do my turned loops, I'm not making a wrap loop on this. I'm going to show you two different methods. Everyone's got their own way of doing it. So what I tend to do, I will use my other pliers, I think. I'm going to bend at the top of that bead at a 90 degree angle. This will turn round, so don't worry too much. I then cut off, leaving about a centimetre, and then I take my round nose and hold that up to where I want that loop to be, making sure it's flush and it's not sticking out the other side. And then I start to turn it in into a little loop just by using little flicks of my wrist to create that little loop and then all I'm going to do with my pliers is just to make sure that they're both sitting evenly so if I need to give it a little twist I can do and then I've got roughly the same size loop on each side now I was shown earlier in the week somebody else who has a slightly different method and it should work just the same so everybody's got their own way of doing things this isn't my usual method so i don't know if it's going to work for me now but we'll sh we'll give it a go so they cut their pin first so they will take about a centimeter and then they will cut their pin and then they bend it over and they think that doing it this way means that you don't get a gap between that pin and the crystal, that little loop. It should work the same. So then I'm still making sure it's flush. Turn it up so my knuckles are towards me. Keep twisting all the way around to close that over. And again, Take two pairs of pliers if you need to, just to check that they're straight. So it works both ways and they look very even too. So it just depends um, which method you go for. Oh, thank you, Tishy. She says, I love your nails. Uh-oh, some of them are showing as out of stock. Um, hopefully we'll be able to um, refresh them for you. So keep checking the page. Angela says that's something I always did when wrapping loops. I forget to add the extra bit. It's so easily done. Good morning, Diane. How are you doing? Um, 
what make is your light blue hand little pliers. These ones are Joron um, Janice. So you can spell X U R O N. You can buy them on numerous different sites, but you don't need any fancy pliers for these. Any pliers will do. Thank you, Lucy, for sharing the link again for us today. So we're doing um, the Jessica E rings over on Totally Beads forward slash Facebook tutorials. Um, have I missed any questions? Um, yeah, a few people are saying things might be out of stock. Um, Diane's on to it. She says she's wrong, Simon. Um, so he's looking into it for us. So thank you so much for that, Simon. Um, and Lucy's also going to check if there's more stock at the warehouse. Okay, all we need to do now is pop these together. So I'm going to take one of my jump rings. I've got lovely little six millimeter jump rings i'm going to open up my jump ring so i'm taking two pairs of pliers i'm gonna take as much surface area between that jump ring as i can just leaving the little gap for where it opens and i'm gonna give it a little twist towards me or away from me to open it up i'm not pulling it outwards i don't want to distort the shape i'm then gonna take one of my lovely little crystals that I've just put together and I'm going to attach that on and now I'm going to pick up my tassels so I'm going to do the largest tassel and I'm just going to make sure I'm attaching that on on the last link of the chain so just threading that on to that jump ring and then going to take the middle sized one, which is the four centimeter one. And I'm going to slide that on to the jump ring as well. And then I'm going to take the three centimeter one or the smallest one. And I'm going to add that on next. So I've got my three tassels connected on the same jump ring that attaches to my lovely little crystal dangle. And they're just going to look beautiful. Look at the length on that. And the same again for the other earring. Opening up the jump ring, twisting it towards me or away from me, sliding it on through the little double connector that we've made. I'm going to take the long length, the medium length, and then the smaller length of chain and add them onto the same jump ring before closing that up. So I opened it towards me. I'm going to close it by moving it away from me. I'm going to go just past the point. And when I let go, it's going to spring back perfectly closed. And all I have to do now is add on my earring hook. So at this point, if you wanted to add a clip on earring, you can do if you've got whatever different ear wire you want you can use them but in your kits today you're going to get four pairs of these beautiful little fish hooks or french hooks whatever you refer to them as i'm going to give it a little flick to open i'm going to slide that onto the top of the little loop we made at the top of my earring and close that back over and again for the next one sliding it on and closing it over so very quickly and very easily i've just lost my chain oh no do you know why because that link mustn't have been fully closed must it that's okay i'm gonna just see so that's what happens when i didn't close my link properly what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hold on to that Thread that back on. And then I'm going to close that link over fully and properly. There you go. So now I've got my lovely earrings. Again, you can wear them in whichever way you want. So they will move around. You can have them with a shorter one is closest to your face or the longer one is closest to your face. Heidi says they would make lovely pendants. 
They would, wouldn't they? Well, you've got enough in your kit if you wanted to make one of them into a pendant and then you've got your matching earrings to match as well. Each kit is making up four pairs today. I'm going to put them in because they're just so lovely and I'm going to see what I've missed. So in they go. I mean, probably wouldn't rock them with this jumper, to be honest. I think they need something a little bit more fancier than a jumper with a rainbow on it but oh look at them i just love them lucy says very pretty earrings thank you for showing us how to do them easy peasy weren't they and you know i'm gonna sit and play with them because i just love the movement in that chain Think they look a little bit special so today we've got nine amazing color choices for you they are seven pounds 99 each and you're making up four pairs of absolute beautiful earrings if you can't decide what color and you want to multi buy then it's two for 12 pounds i'm just going to refresh my page and see if oh we've got quite a few showing us out of stock at the moment I think it's the gold ones. I think most of the gold are looking at out of stock. So I'm guessing it might be the chain that we ran a little bit low on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little chat with the warehouse and I'm going to see if we can maybe find an alternative chain if that is what it is that's causing these to be out of stock. Um, we want something little and delicate and uh, very pretty, but I'm sure we've got something than at the warehouse which will do just as lovely so that's all it was today some beautiful quick makes um, i'm going to be back with you on monday i'm going to be with you all next week monday wednesday and friday you're not going to be able to get rid of me um, i'll give you a sneaky peek of mondays you may have already seen it because it started to be advertised so look at these I'm going to be making the most beautiful gemstone and crystal little bracelet cuffs with you. They are the easiest things to do as well. We're going to be using memory wire. We've added on a clasp as well. So they're going to be, you can wear them without the clasp. But if you want to make sure that they're attached and secure, you can do. We've got these gorgeous gemstone chips. They're paired with the most beautiful beautiful crystals and i'd like to think there's a color there for everyone it's gone so dark in this room you can see a tiny bit of light here look, look at them they're just gorgeous so i'm going to be doing that with you on monday so please do come back and join me uh, lucy says hurry up monday mina says wow love it uh, lucy's also loving monday's makes already are those gemstone chips oh yes lucy they are no, I love a gemstone um tutu says wow thank you lucy they are all back in stock so <clears throat> excuse me if you want any of these earrings if you want them in silver colorway if you want them in gold colorway if you want your lenny be your purple green your <clears throat> excuse me tickling my throat the auburn the autumn rainbow the shimmering aqua the <coughs> tickle in my throat they are all back available on the website do excuse me i'm gonna go and make myself a coffee so i will see you all on monday i hope you have the most amazing weekend once again thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support you give me this week i absolutely love the bones of you all um, and speaking of bones, have a very happy Halloween and I'll see you on Monday.